Hi everyone, welcome back to another video. I hope everyone is doing well. It's officially autumn now, so it's got a lot chillier, a lot colder, a lot wetter. Anyway, today I have a really interesting call because I've got a few things to share from different places. I think I've got Dunham, Primark, Poundland, The Range, and a few others. So I'm going to start with the Donalm range because it's really beautiful and I think a lot of you are going to like these and it's kind of like, you know, homeware. I think a lot of people do like homeware. So they have these gorgeous Disney ranges in Donalm at the moment. If you aren't new to my channel, you know that I've taken you all along with me to see their Disney Winnie the Pooh range. And I just had to pick some up. I'm quite surprised I had to because generally I don't really like Disney that much in terms of like homeware and things like that. But I really love the illustration on these. Look at how cute it is. I really love like the colour of the bowl and then the colour of the text and the illustration. And I just think it goes really well together. I also do really like the font style and size. And then like positive quotes, affirmations, I love that kind of thing. It was really cozy and I do like these uneven edges. It just gives it like that handmade look, which I really do like. So I grabbed this and I actually got two of them. And I've got the matching sets as well. So I've got the mugs. And like when it comes to all these sets, you can get them in the different characters. So what does it say? A little consideration, a little thought for others makes all the difference. See what I mean? I just love it. And you can see the prices on there. And this is the other side. You've got Eeyore. And isn't it just gorgeous? Like look at the drawings on there. I'm really specific with, you know, Disney on things. But again, I've got two of each. So everything I show you, I've got two of each. And you can have like Winnie the Pooh on here. You can have Tiggy, you can have Piglet. Let me know in the comments who your favourite character in Winnie the Pooh is. Then I also picked these up. It says the sun still shines even when it's hiding. They've got Leo's notorious tail <laughs> popping in my videos. These are five pounds. Yeah, I have to say this is actually the first time I've really ever bought like bowls and plates. I think I got quite a few at the beginning just given to me, like my mom and family. And I feel like I'm just gonna be so careful with these because they're so gorgeous. You know, I almost don't wanna use it. You know, it's trying to park itself on me. Then they also have these cup and saucer sets. And honestly, I don't drink out of cups. They're just too small for me. But yeah, I have like really gigantic mugs. So I'm thinking, I don't know what I'm going to do with these, but they were just so cute and I really wanted to buy like the whole range. And they say, sometimes the smallest things take up the most room in your heart. And it's got like, there's a saying, all across, and then it's got flowers there and Piglet and Pooh himself. And then this side is clear. Honestly, it's so hard doing anything, especially when it comes to hauls with a cat on you. Then I've got these ones, two of each again, six pounds. Oh, they're just so gorgeous. Such a nice gift for someone as well. Like if you're doing a housewarming or just like I just gift people. It's got Winnie the Pooh and then it's got it never hurts to keep looking for sunshine. Like how uplifting are these plates? And then I could not pass off these tea towels. Bloom where you are planted. That's what it says. I love them, they've got this on point, like this has a little bit of texture in. Can you see how good the quality is as well? And then the second one has drawings like this all over it. I can show you a better part. I think it's got Pooh holding flowers. And this was eight pounds. I also grabbed the bowls for five. And inside it says bloom where you are planted. And this was the priciest because the size, it has some weight to it as well. This was £22. I wasn't going to eat it. I was just going to taste it. I honestly had to get this just because of what it says. They're so adorable. And that's the whole range that I have picked up. They do have like a few more things, like a bit of wall art and things like that. But yeah, I didn't want to spend too much because this salon was 22 <laughs> And then I showed you they had a sale on. I got this, which was initially 16 and I got it for £8. 
I'm gonna put it away. I mean, birds always need to drink and eat. Like, I can, you can use this for feeding the birds as well, and squirrels, if you don't want it to be like on the floor or anything. So I think this is really good. You could put plants in here or stones just to weigh it, but they also do have like pegs that you could put into the ground. So I showed you that I got my sister one of those as well. The prices were just too good. I got this owl because I love owls and I thought, you know, it's really nice for like autumn. It was originally five and I got it for 250. <laughs> There's Leo popping his little head. He got a bit annoyed because like, it's making too much noise. He got off my lap. But yeah, back to the owl, you can spray paint this so like if you want it to be for Halloween or something, or you can spray paint it white so it kind of looks like the Harry Potter Hedwig. And last but not least from Don Elm, I had to get this. I've posted him on my community tab, so if you've seen him before, it is because I posted him. But look at the size of him. He's pretty cute. He was too adorable to pass off. And I thought, to be honest, something this big and this cute, as well as the quality, I felt like this could be easily £22. And I got him for 12 So I thought that was a really, really good price. They have like a cuter one. I mean, he's cute. I hope you didn't hear that, but... I have like, they have them in door stops, but I have enough door stops from Donald, so I was like, I just want the plush. So that's why I got him and they're the same price if you do want to get the door stop. It's smaller, but I just love his little legs. <laughs> oh, I also got this plant from B&M, so I'll turn the camera around so you can see that. Not the planter, just the plant itself. They do so many plants that some of them do need a bit of TLC. I managed to find one that's kind of decent. I have given it a bit of TLC actually, so it wasn't looking as good as this, but you can see a new growth there. Can you see this? That's a new leaf that's growing. So exciting. And this was like as cheap as I could find. So b and do some really good prices for the plants. Little also have some good prices on right now. The next thing along with the plant that I purchased from B&M was this gingerbread snow globe. Okay, this is basically combining two of my favourite things. I love snow globes, maybe three of my favourite things. Snow globes, gingerbread and then miniatures. Like look at how cute this is. This is new for this year. So you've got two gingerbread, the candy canes, the house and look at the bottom. It's decorated so well and guess what the price is like? This was such a good price. Especially as B&M have increased their prices, £6, I thought that was a really good price. I think I got one last year for 7 oh, I feel like I can just look at snow globes all day. It's so magical. Now moving on to Primark, I have purchased three items. First off, da -da -da -da, how adorable again is this watermelon. I showed you him on the community tab too. So I have bought him like a while ago. How much was he? I think he was, was he eight pounds? It's been a while, so I can't really remember. But I thought it is so cute that I had to have it. I love plush. I tried not to. I felt like, you know, I'm getting on now. You know, maybe I should stop loving them. And I tried and for a little while I was doing well. Didn't buy any new plushes. And then suddenly all of these cute ones are popping up and I just had to get them. Then I got these just for the house really, so I don't care for the colour because they were on sale and they look really big but they are, they're supposed to be a size 3 but they look gigantic. But yeah, the colour is not great and you know, I don't really love them so much but they are really comfortable and I just wanted something to wear around the house because my slippers keep dying. So I got these and I think they were like 2 50 they were really cheap because as I mentioned they were on sale. And then I also picked up this black skirt. It's elasticated, which I like. I do like elasticated waist. It's really simple. And I had them in, like, I think they had them in navy, grey, and, like, an olive colour. But I have all those colours. I just needed a black one because my other one, like, was ripping on the side. The quality wasn't so good. Um, and these were also reduced. Where's the price tag? So here's the price tag I saved. It was originally £8.00. And they got reduced half price to four. So uh, Primark are really good when they have their reductions. It just tends to be that I can't find much that suits my style. I would say in the sales, it's like really bright stuff and 
things that just don't interest me. But this time I was lucky and I managed to find something that was black or neutral. Now I have two small items from Home Bargains. First off I have this hydrating night cream. It's got hyaluronic acid and retinol which are two really good things. I do really like Home Bargains skincare. They're such a good price and they always have like really good things in there. How to layer products, it's got the instructions here, step 1 cleanser, step 2 toner, step 3 serum and step 4 is cream. I also purchased one of their wreaths because this was really cheap for the size. I can't remember but I'm guessing it was probably $1.99. This is 30 centimeters, so it's pretty big, usually like you can only find smaller ones. I'm kind of waiting for Poundland to bring theirs out, hopefully they do. And I always stuck up on like the items from their Christmas range. I've picked up some things from the range and then I'm going to have a Poundland haul, which is actually probably the most significant. So I've got some Mud Pudge. If you're a crafter, you'll know what this is. It's basically like glue and you can get it in matte, glass and a few others. I've got these berries. I do really like the range for their craft items. They do a good job with that. And they called these the full collection. So I've got some berries. You have them in red, orange and yellow. I can't remember the prices for any of these, but you can check their website or just actually check my shop with me video that will show you like a tour of all the products and the prices. I've then picked up these which have clips on the back. You've got three miniature pumpkins and I also have it in orange. These are the orange ones. They look a little bit like clementines and the other ones look like garlic, but oh well. And I do like these because they're knitted. I also really like fabric pumpkins. I only realised that this year compared to like ceramic, um, glittery pumpkins, styrofoam, don't like that. Then I've got these stickers. Again, this is full collection. Oh, these are so cute. I've already used these in a craft. You've got pumpkins, acorns, mushrooms squirrels it's really cottage cool and i also like that it's clear you know the type they don't have a background behind them so it's really nice if you want to like make your own lantern with a nice autumn scene you can just use some little frames from poundland and stick these on i had to pick this up a knitted oh, what do you call this like it's not a wicker what is this i can't remember what would you call this no idea, but anyway, I thought it was really cute just because I like small things. And also I don't use this, like I think it's for a pick that maybe you put in flowers or something or in a vase. I'm going to get rid of it. This was actually more than a pound. I thought, you know, maybe it'd be a pound. I think it was two pounds, maybe even two fifty. And I got these apples, which I didn't know in my craft stash. I already have some apples from the range last year but they were glittery this time for this year they're not glittery it's a pack of 12 but they're really good for autumn crafts as well and you can use these like to make your own wreaths another thing i picked up again in the miniature size are the pumpkins and i've used one or two already i think it was probably yeah it was six heads that you get on there and i don't mind these like even though they're styrofoam I think that they're actually really good quality. My cat behind me, she's annoyed because we're sharing the chair. I'm already like being pushed right to the edge. Like there's the back and I'm all the way, I'm literally sitting on the edge of the chair and she's smacking her tail like, can you get lost please? I was here first. I also picked this up from the range for my cat. If you are sick, if you have a cat and you're sick of the food, like they push it with their tongue and it comes out onto your carpet because my cats love doing that, especially Leo. This size and shape basically makes sure that the food stays in the bowl. You don't understand how many bowls I have tried. I'm so glad I, I found this, but I think he doesn't really like eating out of it, which is a shame because I'm just basically using the other bowls. But I was really happy with this because the food wasn't coming out. I was like, I finally found one, but he just doesn't seem to like it. Here she is, <laughs> she can see herself. Are you looking at yourself? Good girl, we're gonna have to share the chair, okay? 
Now I'm moving on to Poundland and I was so happy with their phase two because more autumn things came out and I like autumn pieces. They've got these salt and pepper shakers new this year, white and orange. I was surprised to see some of these in Poundland actually and has anyone spotted that they have copied B&M and Home Bargains this year. So this is the first B&M tube that they have in Poundland this year. Poundland do four in a pack whereas I think the one in B&M is like six or eight. I think it's an eight pack but they've got these stripy ones, dotty ones and this is like I said exactly really what B&M do. They've also got these mugs in. They're smaller this year but they're heavier so that's a little bit odd, it's like the quality is improved but again I feel like this just looks like a clementine. <laughs> then I picked this up, they've got cookie and cutter spatulas and they have three variations. They've got the pumpkin, they have a ghost and they have a bat and this is a cutter at the bottom. So if you like autumn more you can go for this and if you like Halloween more you can go for the bat or the ghost. This is another B&M kind of dupe. But b and don't have pumpkins, they've got witches hats and they've got skulls but this is literally the same size, it's ribbed, it has a black ribbon on the neck and even like the paint and the colours that they use so it was so surprising, I actually was like, oh, I thought I was in b and for a second but yeah again if you do like autumn you can pick this up. I really like this. I think a lot of you are going to love these mugs actually. They've got these Hello Pumpkin mugs. Let me just tap the screen. There you go, it's a bit better. Hello Pumpkin, the font is really nice and it is printed on the other side. And then also the handle, you've got the silver going around here. I really love the drawing of the pumpkins. And this is dishwasher safe and microwave safe which is a one-off for Poundland, they don't usually have that and they have this in a gold colour if you want like the more autumn colours but I don't think it says Hello Pumpkin, I think it's just pumpkin drawings as far as I remember. Another thing I really liked in Poundland this year is this cat mug. It is quite small, also I have to say they always make their glasses, not just Poundland, but B&M do this as well. Like B&M, whenever they have glasses, it's super, super thin. This is actually thicker than usual. I love that the handle is actually the tail of the cat. And I think this was microwave, suitable for microwave and dishwasher. So they're getting a bit better with that. But it's just that I'm feeling like the size is pretty small for me. So unless I have my like milkshake that I have in the morning, I think that's an okay size for it but I had to get this because of course I love animals and I have two cats of my own. Another autumn thing that I had to pick up were these LED pumpkins. They're made with real wax and they're a four pack and they're the cutest thing. They're so small. I love them. And I was just surprised really with these kind of products in Poundland again. I think it's really good that they are focusing on a few more autumn things, not just Halloween. And then this is what they copied Home Bargains on. Does anyone remember the pumpkin jars in Home Bargains? They always sell really, really well. Well, Panan have their own version this year. This is 2.5 litres. It's pretty heavy and it's basically the same thing. I think that it's maybe cheaper in Poundland. Is it the same price? I think it's more than a fiver in Home Bargains but if you know let us know in the comments so that we know which one to grab. I've obviously got the Poundland one. <laughs> then I've got this tea light holder for a pound. I thought you know you can actually spruce this up, you can paint it, make it like more texturized. And then they're selling these paint your own tea light holders. They have like a ghost about, I got the cat, I think they had this last year actually. And it comes with the paints, three colours of paints, not so great because it's like pink, yellow and black. And then you've got the pumpkin which I picked up and the paint colours are at the back, it shows you, so yellow, orange and green, it's a bit better. They've got these crystal balls and they light up which I haven't tested it yet. As you can see there's bats on there. I've always thought why haven't they come out with like a crystal ball kind of product. I think they could still do a better job with it. 
I thought I could maybe test it, but no, you have to put the batteries in. What batteries does it take? Three double A's. And then they've also got this out, another tea light holder with spiders. This was, I think, three pounds, so I think that was a bit pricey maybe for Poundland. And then if you're more into Halloween, they do have different variations of the mugs out. They have like a skeleton as well. And then this ghost here. It's a decent size, actually. Then you've got paint your own characters. I think this is my last, no, it's not. Paint your own characters here. And I think the characters are really cute because look at the bat. I think it's actually the cutest one. And I think this comes with paint, a one paintbrush, four paints and hanging ribbons. You probably would have all seen these in my shop with me, but I had to get this. You know, I love my gingerbread and candy cane. I actually have one of these kind of mugs from Primark. It's a lot bigger and the design is a little bit different, but I think that they did kind of dupe the Primark one from last year. I love it though. This isn't dishwasher safe and it's not microwave safe. It's a bit disappointing, but you know what? I don't use microwave for teas anyway. I'd rather just make a new one. It tastes really awful in my opinion when you microwave a tea, but I am going to stick it in the dishwasher. So hopefully it holds up. <laughs> and then I got this gnome. I never used to like gnomes, but you know, I'm starting to warm up now to at least miniature ones. So I got this one. He's got a starry hat. This was my favorite. They had a few others. He's got silver mitts. And then their trees, they have these in different colours, but I really like the white. I think I had it in green and maybe gold, but I felt like the white was really classy and they have these for a pound. It comes with a wooden base as well. And then I got the garland, which is new this year, and it actually has two variations. So you've got one with red berries. This is 2.75 metres, and then one with white berries. I couldn't make my mind up and I got the red one, but... I do feel like I need the white one too. And then this is my last thing, a lovely sleigh. This was only a pound. How good is that for a pound? It's a good size. I love that it has like the material on top. I think you can make a really gorgeous piece of decor, even a handmade gift with something like this. And the same with the mugs, like you don't just have to get a mug to drink from. It makes a really good gift if you buy like a few things from Poundland and put it inside the mug. It looks a lot more expensive than it actually is. Another thing I do in the mugs is make a miniature scene. So I'll put a photo here of one that I've done and you could do this for the different seasons and holidays as well. Again, a really good gift. Or if you're a crafter that wants to make and sell, that's a really good idea. So I hope that you have enjoyed the haul. I actually really enjoyed it. I felt like it was a really good mix of different things and it was really exciting. A lot of it was really me, like with the cozy Winnie the Pooh things and then the plushes. Uh, I do really like the snow globe that I showed you as well as my new mug. I can't wait to see what else I'm going to collect. I feel like Christmas winter time is where I buy the most things actually. <laughs> And of course, I don't celebrate Christmas, but I don't think gingerbreads and plush have got anything to do with Christmas, really. So make sure you subscribe because I take you on Shop With Me. So I'm going to be showing you all that's new in and on sale whenever they do have sales. I also upload Monday and Thursday. I share hauls like this one. So make sure that you click the notification button and I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.